All right, so GSL Atlantis Spaceship. Yep. I've never played this map before in my life. Yeah, it's really common in a lot of, uh, well, obviously the GSL, but other tournaments as well. Oh. Um, Daywalker uses it, like, small as I've seen it on yeah. Dreamhack. Yeah, Dreamhack uses it on Spaceship as well. Oh, really good map. Really good macro map. Oh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Long map, for sure. <sighs> so, TVZ. Yeah, I think when they took a poll for TVZ, it was actually, like, like for favorite matchup, TVZ was the winner. Oh, really? Where was this poll taken? I think TL did a poll. Yeah. Before. Team Liquid, right? Yeah. Alright. Double checking. Yep. Why do you think that's the case? Um, I'm not sure. I mean, I think PVT might have won. Or, like, PVZ, everyone just for fast expands, so... Mm -hmm. yeah. But anyway, um, let's get these introductions going. Um, Alright, OGK Clan War uh, Game 2. Yep. Dan hates you. Put um, Team Kelso Jacobus up 1 0. And now the new Pro B, Drunken Tiger, a uh, Platinum Terran, is going to try to beat him. So. I think uh, I've actually never seen a Drunken Tiger play before, so this would be interesting. Yeah, he's actually a former member of. My old clan BLNT that Jacobus was in, and several other people. Oh, and was he any good? He was okay. He was about my level. We pulled a lot of you guys from BLNT, huh? Yep. But yeah, so um, in the top right, we have Dan Hates You, the blue Zerk. And in the bottom left, we have the green Terran, Drunken Tiger. When you say it twice, it's better. I, I never actually did the formal introduction. I said, like, oh, like, I said who was playing. I didn't say where they were. I didn't say their right. colors. Whatever your uh, religion is. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we see a barracks first coming out of Drunken Tiger. Um, standard. Relatively standard. You actually see uh, Command Center first openings about equally as often in TVZ. Oh, for sure. And it looks like Dan's saving up 300 minerals for that hatch. Yep, 15 hatch. Very, very standard. Against Terran. Mm -hmm. I think the only way to punish that is a bunker rush. Yep. For the most part. I love two racks games where they two racks and they do enough damage and then they double expand out of it and then it turns into a huge macro game. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, I bet that would be entertaining. Yeah, it actually happens more often than you would think. Tasia has done it. You watch times. a good amount of professional streams. Oh yes, all the time. Learn from the best. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I think this will probably just be a standard one rack expand from the Terran player. Hasn't gotten yes. any gas yet, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One thing I've noticed about Dan Hayti's play is that like his overlords, he always sends them like really close to the opponent's base. Yeah. Oh no. Or has some rallied to odd places. I think that'd just be to sack it later just for a little scouting, like if he's going one 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 or some banshee hellion or whatever. Yeah, it seems it seemed a little close to his base though considering he was drone scouting. What uh what build do you expect to see out of Drunken Tiger this game? Um probably one rack to expand and then we'll see if he chooses to go mech or into bio. Or, yeah, or possibly the Hellion Banshee. Yeah, like, I think that's what's really popular right now. Yeah. I'm not sure how much he practices though, or has been recently, so I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know him at all I'm familiar either. familiar with that build. But yep, so um, Dan going for quick, or relatively quick, one gas again to get wing speed, which he just started. This is a bit interesting, these marines out in the middle of the map here. Yep, I guess trying to kind of take the watchtower, you know, make, we're not going to take it ourselves, we're just going to make sure nobody else can, just run back and forth, just chill right yeah. there. Oh, and then one... Brave Marine chooses to stay there by himself, keep guard. Oh, he can see that Marine, just a little. I would send one over to the other side right now, pick it up. Yeah, I would definitely agree. And it looks like he's going to rally, send these two Marines in to go pick off, pick it off right here, yep. Oh yeah. And this Overlord will die. That's a nice pickup. Oh yeah, very nice. It, it gets so annoying early game for Zerg. 
Having overwords getting picked off. Oh, well, looks like 3 CC from Drunken Tiger. Thanks for pointing that out, Winter. Yep. I should keep the production tab up for God's sake. Yep, and 3 CC is actually really, really standard. Mm. You know, I, if I'm correct, you don't throw, float that over to the third fight yet. You just use it to produce marine or uh, SCVs and mules. Yep. Usually turn it into an orbital and then just use it for mules and SCVs for a while. Although, right. yes. uh, Dan is going for banelings. So this could be a little scary. Oh yeah, I don't see a third yet from him. And this Marine's n Marine knows that for the bottom right. Yeah. And the bunker uh, supply depot wall will just fall really, really quickly to a huge baneling bust. And he needs these bunkers. Yep, and 22 wings being produced. So we this will see a baneling bust. Two base all in from Dan hates you. Oh, he's going up to layer. What do you think about that? Um, possibly for baneling speed. Well, that's right. the only thing I can think of. I don't know, Bandling Lane Muto with a late third, maybe, but... Hmm. Well, it seems a bit unconventional. Yeah, I'm not sure why he would produce so many wings at this time. Maybe he's going to go for an all-in. Mm -hmm. Yep, so we see the factory coming down, and we see a reactor on the barracks. Yep, so most likely Hellions. Uh, who am I kidding? I'm probably wrong on that. And we see all four gas coming down right now. Battle cruisers, it has to be. That's the only option. Oh, of course. But, yep, it looks like we are going to see Heli and Banshee, I'm assuming. Oh, what are you doing with those Marines? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, all right. Well, I didn't even waste any banelings on that. Yep, those Marines running forward. Oh, I don't agree with all these bunkers. There's no Marines to even go in them. Yep. And Dan can just run him now, and I think he might be able to get the kill. But he's, he's running him with the banelings first, which really confuses me considering he's got a number and he just wastes it all on that bunker. Ooh, really bad decision. 3cc with one rocks is not suggested. No. He really especially, needs those helmets. Especially if you uh, scout early gas. But yeah, barracks wall definitely would have been the right choice. Mm -hmm. And these Hellions won't do enough. And we should see the GG coming out from Drunk yeah. pretty soon. It's 2 0 right now. Yep. I don't see the point of making all these bunkers if you don't have anything to put in them. Yeah. I, yeah, I think the bunkers were a little too much. But yep, and all these wings are going to rally in. Even Baneling speeds on the way if he choose, or chooses later. And that's GG, <laughs> yep. And Dan puts team Jacobus Kelso up 2 0. Team Jacobus Kelso. Now we're gonna be like fire.